Hi there, I'm Andrea. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about setting up a D-Link camera to an Apple base station as opposed to any other sort of router that may have WPS technology. Um, after you have downloaded your software, um, it's actually downloaded from dlink.com backslash my D-Link Mac. You can go ahead and set this camera up um, just like you would any other camera with any other router. Um, but the problem that you're going to encounter is when you unplug the camera from the LAN cord, uh, you think you can just hit the WPS button and all is well. That's not the case. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get it done today. Um, after you've done all of this and you're ready to actually get your camera working, take it to where you're going to take it to and install it and plug it into the outlet. So then after the light turns off, you're going to click it and hold it. Hold on to it for a second and when you let go of it, you should have a flashing blue light where that WPS technology is trying to work. It's trying to get in contact with your router. I'm going to go to the computer and show you how to do the rest. Now in front of your computer, you want to come over to your spotlight finder going to type in airport and go pull up your airport utility. Then you want to come over to your airport, click on edit right here. Within these fields we're not going to do anything at all. In fact, you're going to come over here to this menu bar. I'm going to say add Wi-Fi printer. Although we're adding a camera, we need to say that. This is considered a first attempt. I'm going to make sure that the blue light is still on on the camera, and it is. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. And it's going to look for the IP camera. Which usually only takes a few seconds. There it is. Once it's finished, all you want to do is click Done. Hit Cancel here. And we're going to close out of the utility. Now you should have written down your IP address for the camera when you were setting it up. I happen to know mine, so we're going to go ahead and type that into a Safari browser. We're going to There it is. That's how simple it is to set this up if you are using a Apple base station as opposed to a D-Link router. So I hope this helped.